This is uh, SketchUp. I can you know go to www.sketchup.com. This is the screen you come to, and you can download SketchUp. I would say if you can use that link right there, it's going to take you in. And you, there's a free version here for SketchUp. Download SketchUp, and uh, you can you know choose your, choose your flavor here and download it. And this is a, this is a free uh, free free piece of software, and you'll be able to do what you need to do with that. I want to choose a template and um, uh, I like the, the, the product design and woodworking in inches and that's what we're going to do here in the wood shop because a lot of the measuring tools we have will, uh, are rulers and measuring in, in inches so we'll, we'll, we'll do this in inches and start using SketchUp. Um, sometimes I like to go to the camera and the camera controls how we uh, how we view this and sometimes I like to turn perspective off and it might be just be your preference and do parallel projection instead but uh, yeah um, just a quick review of some of the tools I can grab and move stuff around with the hand tool I can orbit around you'll see me use some of these tools um, you'll also see me switch live oh and there's an instructor right there we can get rid of that for now you'll see me switch live between some of the stuff um, because there's key commands, like if I go H for hand, I can select the hand. If I go O for orbit, or P for pencil, or excuse me, P for push-pull, A for... What do I, yeah, so there's, there's quick tools for that, and I'm trying to remember what they all are now, but... Yeah. Um, I'm going to do the base, and, say, and you notice down on the right-hand side, right over here, I can see dimensions here, so I just want a little 4x3 base. And actually, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Right, we'll make it a 4 by 6 base. And that's good enough. You can see, I can see the dimensions right there. And it's a little, you know, a little precise for our needs. But that's, yeah, that's close enough right now. And we might be able to play around with that later. And I'm going to push and pull this up. And I'm going to pull it up, uh, you know, say half an inch. That would be about the thickness of the material we use. There it is. So I'm looking right down here when I when I want to know how thick to make this stuff. I'm gonna uh, what I'm gonna draw on here is gonna seem a little bit weird, and I'm gonna be erasing stuff away. But basically, we have a couple of different parts that we need to that we need to draw. Um, now that we've got our base, I can you you can you can establish um, a. Uh, uh, what your uprights, your sides gonna look like, and um, uh, sometimes we like to do. Maybe we'll do this. That's the middle, and I'm just gonna do this for. To, to give me some proper geometry here. So I can have the middle right there and middle right there. Oh, come on. But they're not going to be that big. And you might decide just to draw the boxes on there, you know, however you want, but I'm just going to... And I'm, and I'm just doing this to give me a nice even spot right here, but then I'm going to hit E for eraser and get rid of a bunch of my geometry I've just put in here. So I have these two spots right here. Let me just do this now. I'm going to pull this on up. And we'll make it uh, we'll make it near four inches high. And you can see I can orbit around this now. And this is a separate piece. So I don't have a line right there, but I do want a line right there. And depending on your, the design of your side, you can transfer the design of your side right onto here now. So I think if I, you know, we can we can start right here, and and, and you may have you may have a curvy kind of a surface, um, and and you'll just have to kind of approximate that effect on here. And I'm going to use, uh, you know, I can escape escape to finish drawing the line, or I can double click. And I can use the push-pull tool, and I can just 
pull that all out right there. And I can move it around. Oops, that's funny. Let me back up Command Z, Command Z. Okay, pencil tool. Let's try this again. It's not a, not on the surface there, which is a little weird. Sometimes you gotta watch out for that. There we go. Now I'm gonna use the push pull. You might think I could use the erase tool, and watch what happens if I use the erase tool. If I get rid of this right here, then it's gonna be kind. It gives me this weirdness here. It's not quite a solid material, and the computer doesn't know what pattern I want on the other side. But if I undo that, use the push pull tool to to pull that out to nothing. It says on facing. I click and let go and click here and pull it to the left and click and let go. Now I've got my shape like I want it. Um, we need to drill some holes in this first. So let me, if you can kind of place them. And when it comes to doing this, this model for extra credit, I'm not super worried about getting accurate placements here. But we just want to do little holes here. If I do a little hole right there. And we'll put another one. If this is a regular catapult, we'll do another one right there and another one right here. And oops, not that big. And we'll put another one down here. And I'm going to, again, use the push pull tool and I'm going to pull these little guys out. And I can, I should be able to rotate around and get to a point where I can see through them. Yep, I can see through that one. If I zoom in I can see through it. Is it solid in there? I think it is. Yep. It's rendering a solid. And I'm just clicking on that circle but then I'm going to drag over to that edge so I can see it says it's on edge and it's going to pull it out properly for me. Okay so now I've got my holes drilled and then I now I can select um, this guy here and copy and paste it and I'm going to first uh, get rid of this and this I'm just going to over around make sure I don't have anything else selected and copy and paste and let go off orbit so now I've got my nice new catapult uh, except I still need an arm okay so hmm I'm hitting escape to get out of some of these tools if I want to, if I don't want to do something here, we'll do that right there. All right, so now I've got my separate piece here, O for orbit. I'm gonna, you know what I want to do is I want to turn this,
this is going to be the rotate tool. And I want to pitch this up a little bit. So if I if I oh I want to I want to pitch it now. Oh, I can pitch it right here. And then I'll I'll grab a hold right up over here at the other corner. And then I want to go up this way. And you see how it's twisting? It's it's got a fulcrum right here. And we're just going to lock that in just like that. And now I'm going to move this guy sort of. No, move kind of near to the place where I want to have it inside here. And close is fine. I know I know you guys are, you know, you've probably never really done anything like this before and just get as close as you can, but goodness gracious, if you get this far with it, um, that'll be pretty cool. Um, we do need to have some other things on here I think I forgot to do with this. We need to, um, um, we need to have some notches for the rubber band up here. This is for the catapult, not the trebuchet. So I'm just going to draw a little bit, a little, a little notch right here. Put in a couple of lines. I'll just make a little V-shape. Um, not what I wanted. When you're drawing with the pencil tool, you want to make sure that you're drawing like on the surface of something. And it says on face. That's what you want to do. On face. Boom. And I want to carry this line work over to this side over here. I'm going to use the push-pull tool to pull this little bit out of here. Um, you, know, you notice I'm pulling geometry across. I probably should have done this before I copied and pasted it, but it's easy, easy enough to put that in there. Push-pull that out. And that's a little notch for the rubber band. But we're going to do the same kind of thing on the arm now. I probably should have done this to the arm before I put it in place. Um, yeah, it looks like it's going to work. So the greater level of detail you can achieve for me, the you know the better we can do on here for you know for extra credit points. But that's more or less a little uh, you know I guess you know if you're trying to get the nail in there. If you can try to get the nail and everything lined up, that would be great. We do want to maybe label this. So if I can come into um, uh, tools and do what we call, we want to do text and, you know, call that A. Mm. Yeah, and I don't know if you can tell when you orbit around. They're not they're not appearing on the surface. They're sticking out from the edge. They're a label, which you can kind of read them from most angles here, which is good here, I guess. Um, that is, yeah. And you can just you know pull that up and. If you do a trebuchet, obviously you you do it. You'd make yours a little different. Um. And uh, yeah, you can just do the best you can, and say you know maybe do me a favor and render out a JPEG under the export menu. If you go to here to export 2D graphic and, and render it out, but also but send me both files if you're going to email it to me. And that's uh, that's the extra credit for making a 3D model of a catapult.